to sit here to say hi guys welcome back to my channel because I've been gone for like the longest time okay let me start by saying hi welcome back to my channel and for those who are just seeing me for the very first time hi you're welcome my name is Grace I'm just a girl who likes to create content and with that being said um, please subscribe hit the bell so you get notified every single time I put out a new video funny how I'm sitting down to film this because to be honest, I haven't been motivated. I haven't been motivated and I'm just here to share some of the reasons why and what I plan to do going forward. So let's get right into the video. We're going to start with why I haven't been consistent and why I haven't been posting. It feels like the last time I put up a video was three, four months ago, only for me to check, and it was actually about a month ago. But that's how it feels when you're not churning out content as a content creator. It just feels like you haven't put out anything for the longest time, and you're losing relevance, you're losing your audience, you're losing the people who care about you and your content. So the first reason is me not having an actual filming space and that is an issue for me because for the kind of videos I like to do um, the try on hauls I need a lot of space I'm going to link up a video here where I did a try on haul and you guys saw how disastrous that was yeah a bit of humor to it people thought it was funny but deep down I'm struggling because I want an actual space and even for sit down videos like this, I want to have that nice background and I don't have that right now, even though I'm thinking about turning a section of our voice quarters, our BQ into my filming room, but that would also mean me painting, me setting up, me putting the kind of aesthetics that I want, buying um, lights and all of that. So fingers crossed, so I have a wish list of things I need and hopefully I'm going to check them off gradually because I tell myself that if I have that space I believe that I will be more compelled or more um, encouraged and gingered to put out content but when I just think about it like I don't even have a space like I've gotten items from brands I want to share but when I think of the stress of trying to join nah, it's just it's just a lot so yeah that has been a major constraint back to the surface the feeling of all that we were I don't hmm. this might be a bit personal but some people know I've talked about it on my blog I'm going to put the name on the screen here you can go check it out I haven't uploaded in a while but I hope to I often deal with I often deal with seasonal anxiety and it always happens towards the later part of the year. Ever since I lost my friend Brian, he, he died towards the end of the year. It's just been crazy. So during that period, I just relieved the whole experience. It's been quite a number of years now, but I mean, it still hits me hard sometimes. And apart from that, just generally towards the end of the year, I just start feeling like, hmm, Another year has gone by. Did I really do great? Did I achieve the things I set out to achieve? Did I improve myself in any way? It's, it's you know, that feeling of I could have done more, I should be doing more, it hits me. And then I just realize that I start winding down, start having these panic attacks, dealing with anxiety, all of that. Yeah, so that happens and trust me, it doesn't help me in any way because I feel like I'm just um, functioning on autopilot. I just want to go through my day, get things done. I, I have a nine to five and just come back home and just sleep half the time. That's what it is. Even posting on Instagram is a hassle. So for those who follow me on Instagram, for some people who follow me on Instagram and, and notice some things, they sometimes send me a DM and be like, hmm, you've deleted some posts on your feed because I'm restless. I'm that kind of person. So I haven't really been posting even on Instagram, but um, 
yeah, whatever. I did start enjoying reels. Yes, I did start enjoying reels and I posted and I even got one video that got over a hundred thousand views and over how many thousand comments. I'm gonna post it here. It was hilarious. So that was like one of my highlights last year on Instagram. Um, and yeah, so those are some of my challenges and then not having an actual plan. So it just feels like I've been creating content on a whim. I should actually have an actual plan because the first thing about being a content creator is having a plan, having a content calendar, having your schedule, all of that, your content pillar, everything planned out. But I've just been winging it for the longest time and as seen here on my um, channel, I really like to do vlogs, but I don't go out all the time. I know there are different kinds of vlogs. I could do silent vlogs, a day in my life, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, that has also been a struggle. But yeah, that has been my constraint. Those have been my, my, my major constraints when it comes to creating videos or YouTube. And it's crazy because in all of this, I really, really like to edit. So, um, okay, I'm going to talk about that in the later part of the video pl plans that I have. I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. And which brings me to the next segment of this video, plans I have for 2022. Now, if you watch this video that I'm going to link up here, I stated why I do not do or buy into New Year resolutions, but um, it doesn't mean that I will not do things to try and improve myself. It doesn't mean I will not do things to be a better version of myself. I will, but that actual New Year, new me, I'm gonna have xyz i'm not going to talk to this person i'm going to nah i don't have those kind of new year resolutions cut down on sodas nah if i know i need to do something to be better i'll do it i will try i will strive hard to do it and with that being said i'm for the first quarter i mean i'm planning in quarter so that i don't overwhelm myself for the first quarter of the year the first thing that i want to really go into or try it might seem shallow but it is what it is is makeup so just for the fun of it i want to learn the basics so i'm going to start with consultation knowing what products are good what kind of products will suit my skin the applicators like all the brushes the application itself the process so i know i'm going to binge watch a lot of youtube videos if you guys know any amazing uh, makeup artist or makeup content creator that doesn't do anything too serious that is easy basic please comment down below and i'll definitely watch the videos so i want to do that and i'm going to take you guys through the whole process from going to the market to buy the stuff i need learning how to apply them it looks like it will be fun what else do i want to do first quarter i want to take up more courses on digital marketing media and communication courses on content creation because the thing is content evolves things change and yes you may not dive into trends but you want to take elements of it and put it into yours to still keep yourself relevant so to speak so yeah i'm going to do that i also want to take up dance class <laughs> so yeah not the um, hip-hop contemporary kind of dance i really want to do learn how to do salsa and uh, what's that other central one kazumba or something like that it's really central i just find it really fascinating and it seems like a pretty good way to unwind um q1 i also want to learn how to swim so my sisters and i for the longest time have been saying that we're going to learn how to swim but here we are my nieces are already swimming well and here i am just and my mom keeps teasing me saying it's too late it's too late but i'm going to prove mom wrong fingers crossed hopefully um what else do i want to do q1 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 oh so let me go back a bit so two days ago was it two days ago yes a client that i had shopped for last year sent me a review saying she had finally received her items so i shopped for her last year but she had a whole lot of other things in nigeria she's in paris that she wanted to um cargo to her so she just like 
took her time and she just got the items and it was the highlights I needed like she was very thrilled she was happy with the things that I bought so for those of you who do not know I am also a personal shopper as well as a tailor so she was happy with the things I got and she said she was going to patronize me again so I really really want to push that aspect of me that aspect of my business and I'm happy because towards the end of last year I started making clothes again and I got couple of orders people ordered people are returning my dms i have people going oh i want this outfit i have a shoot for this and i want you to be the person to either find me an outfit or make an outfit for me so that is that's i'm, I'm liking that so of course i have to push and keep up with that aspect of my life so yes i'm going to add that to q1 and it's going to be a continuous thing um so for q2 i haven't really thought about it because i'm doing life in bits this year this is my year of ease i don't want hassles i don't want struggles i'm doing life in bits because the past two years have been crazy i don't even want to go into it but it's been crazy trust me so i'm doing life in I'm doing life in bits and um, yeah that's pretty much it I still work a nine-to-five still trying to balance all of that I need to do what I need to do to grow because I really enjoy YouTube I really enjoy videos I love editing the most and I know that for me to have the growth that I desire I have to put out content that is what deserving of the growth but I also know that I like to put out feel-good videos and videos just to entertain you people and you know once in a while inform and educate if I can um, and yes I also want to use this medium to say that those of you who have sent me messages I've gotten emails from people on YouTube saying oh you what do you use to edit I use um, InShot and VLLO and yes I will be doing a few tutorials on how you can do certain things on InShot because i've got those requests so maybe i'll start the year off with that because those are easy to just sit down and quickly um, film then as i work on my space will grow into the other types of videos that i want to do um so tell me how did your year start mine started with a bang like <laughs> like i said on instagram this year started on a good note and with the reviews coming in from people I've worked for last year my business the tempo is high so I wanted to keep going on going up going up. Uh, in terms of YouTube I'm really 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 going to try really hard to put out the kind of content that I that I want to and that you guys would love to see hopefully fingers crossed and at the same time as a human being, I'm dealing with um, self-doubt in terms of content, um, dealing with if the thought of can I go on with this because I've really thought about quitting a million times, trust me. I've also dealt with and I'm still dealing with imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is real guys. Dealing with that as well but gradually I'm shaking it off, I'm shaking it off. Ah, this video is all over the place, but it is what it is. What else? Oh, to all my YouTuber friends who have crossed, reached milestones. I'm so proud of you. Precious and sad. You guys, you know her. You initially knew her as Calabas Spice. Her growth has been amazing. Her content has been amazing. I'm really proud of you. I also want to say a big shout out to Tosin Toge. She might not see this coming. But last year, when I was kind of like struggling and in a funk, she sent me like a list of videos I could do. I'm sorry to say I didn't implement. We're going to revisit that conversation. Um, thank you for those ideas. I'm going to tweak them and make them my own, the way you make yours your, your own. But yeah, it's been amazing. So. <sighs> you know when you love to do something, but you're struggling in the sense that you want to do it, but you don't know how to make it better. Okay, it's not like you don't know how to make it better, how to make it work, but that's just a bit of struggle. So I'm just using this medium to share what's been going on in case you guys don't see me for a while. Like my sister's friend, Nancy, who is also a sister to me, called me last night and I was like, you've not uploaded in a while, what's going on? So yeah, there are people who see me, people who are wondering, and I really appreciate that. I'm going to come back 
as soon as I can but I'm not going to force anything I'm not going to force any kind of content but yeah we're going to get content this year I want to do a lot of fashion videos a lot of try on hauls because we have things in the works things are going to happen Look, collaborations will happen even for hair it might be braid styles whatever it's going to happen so if you're a brand and you want to work with me plug yourself down below or if you're watching this and you know brands that you think you know the brand and I will click please just send them this video let them know that I'm here to work with them so yeah that's basically it for now I hope to see you guys really soon I hope to see you guys really soon and thank you for sticking with me for those of you who haven't yet subscribed please subscribe click the bell give it a thumbs up you know all that good stuff and I will see you in my next video streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't